Welcome to Keep On Casting. I'm your host, Bo Grafton. Today we're fishing out of Lafitte, Louisiana on float planes with Tofield Bourgeois. Yeah, man, I see you done uh, snuck out and got a little something there. So you're <laughs> down here fishing these grass beds, man. We got 55 miles of islands out here, so we chose these. The weather looks good, there's plenty of bait around. So we're gonna catch some speckled trout, little bow, some redfish, do it up. Let's go get them, boy. All right, Daddy. All right, oh, yes, sir. Let's get this one you got on. Let's oh, yeah. start it off right. There he is. <laughs> there you go, boy. Stick a trout. I've always heard about Tofield Bourgeois Place down here and always wanted to go. And so we got the opportunity to go. We get up early this morning, we come out, we get on the planes. Just taking off on a plane like that is unbelievable. Coming off the water like that, awesome. The Shandler Islands start from the mouth of the Mississippi River with Breton Island and it goes all the way up to Biloxi. Uh, basically about 55 miles of the island chains, flying out to the southeast to the Chandelier Islands. It's about a 30 minute flight. We're flying low altitude, about 500 feet over the vast marsh land out there, a big estuary, basically a labyrinth of bayous. So the quality of fishing on the Chandler Island is very hard to explain. It's an awesome estuary from all your redfish, speckled trout, flounder, sheephead, you know, stingray, sharks. Everybody lives out there. It's a great, say, cycle of life. I have the opportunity to incorporate into my business where it's something I always dreamed of as a kid to be able to fly out there and go fishing. I mean, uh, we turn that dream to reality, and we share that with you. We pull up, we get behind the Chandelier Islands, we get out and we start wading, and you can see down two, three feet in the water, no problem. There's glass minnows running everywhere, there's mullets. The big mullets would swim up to you, they're like two feet long mullets, unbelievable. We saw hermit crabs, we saw shells everywhere. Beautiful, there's birds flying everywhere. Flying out with Tofield Bourgeois was a very unique experience and it's something I recommend for everybody. All right, little boat. Spot. We got a little trout here, cuz. We're gonna move on up. Let's see if we got a Causane. He's a legal trout, 12 and a quarter inches. Louisiana low, 12 inch minimum, 25 a person. How many trout can you eat at, eat at one sitting, man? My little boat? You don't know? As long as my mama cook me some homemade french fries, I wear them out. Lady fish. Hooked up, hooked up. There we go, boy. Fish on, fish on. Come Little on. Boo, you gotta throw right exactly where your dad comes from, bro. Oh. Fish on. There you go. Come on, baby, right here. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. That'll Ooh. work. Yeah, Little Boo, you, you call this brother in law fish. You're gonna mark the spot right where your dad caught that fish. Got him. There you go. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Got one, there buddy. We go. Get Three on, little boat. You got one. I got one. Oh, he spit it on your little boat. Yeah, that was a keeper there, boat. So we got. We're just keeping it moving. The mullet are all out here on this grass bed. We're walking kind of parallel to the bank. We got a nice couple little trout. We had a triple hookup right there. Me, little boat, and Tofil. Tofil and I got ours. <laughs> <laughs> Little boat, you eating chicken so far. That's right. So the trick out here, a lot of people don't know, that a lot of people like sticking fish through the gills. What you want to do is you want to go through the soft spot right here on, under his chin uh -huh. and out the top of his lip. Ah, gotcha. And that does, this fish can close his mouth, that way he can breathe. We, we don't have no ice on the plane. So the last thing we do is actually is load these fish the last thing. So we want them to live all day long. You want to bring them all the way down to your jug and uh, get him basically away from you. The thing is, it's a 15 foot cable, and when, if the tax collector comes around, you make sure that's, yeah, you want that over there. And this here, you're gonna stick right, go, go through that strap under yep. here and back in your little hole. 
You're good to go, man. So the biggest thing is, is anybody that fishes with topwater, even straight hooks, rubber nets are a big asset. So you want to always let that fish get in here, let him get tangled out, un, you know, unhook him in the net, don't take him out. A lot of times you actually you can string him still on a hook right. if it's safe. You know, because like I said, the finger's the most valuable thing out here and we don't want no hooks. <laughs> so we're good. All right, guys, a little tip for the day. Get them, boy. Little bows on. Oh, that's a nice one, boy. Bring him to your net, cuz. I got him, I got him, I got him. Get him in that net, there he is. There, there, Whoa, right here. to your left, to your left. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in the net, put him down, him boy. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. There we go, Arizona. <laughs> All right, hold on that for me. Awesome. Good job, boy. Yes, indeed. Spoon working for you there, little boat. Real. Oh, get him, boy. You saw him hit it. Oh, keep cool. him down, keep him down, put him down. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water, keep him in the water. <laughs> Open your... <laughs> Dude, I would, you gotta keep him... If, if you keep him suspended... <laughs> It's always daddy's fault. <laughs> All right, boy. A little suspended bait, playing on top of the grass. There we go. She's gonna do a little tail walking for us. All right. Woohoo! All right, boy, they out there, cuz. Beautiful speckled trout. I mean, this time of year, uh, normally what happens, the bigger ones kind of go out to the gulf, they're done laying. We still have high salinities out here. Those beautiful trout. Look at that, man. It's hard to have some trout on with that, but. Look at this cat. Let's see. Let me show you straight on. When I'm dropping it, look how thick that thing is. Whoa. Seen him talk? <laughs> I know what he'd like to do, slap me in the face and jump on out. But uh, that's a good, like, two and a quarter pound fish. Uh, this is a little female. She probably done laid the eggs already. And now she's coming on to the house of dinner. So that's Charlie Medine, baby. Out the bayou. Beautiful. Nice stuff. All right. Put on a stringer. Put it with the party, the rest of these cats. Down here in the bayou, you never know what you're gonna get. Tofield put us on the fish. Unbelievable how Tofield knew where to go. He said, uh, watch out, there's gonna be a little hole right there. And sure enough, there's a hole. Watch out, there's gonna be a dip like, right there. And sure enough, you walk off, there's a dip. <laughs> <laughs> that man's a trooper, boy. Well, <laughs> little bull swimming this way. <laughs> So what's going on whenever the last tropical storm come through here, which was Nate, kind of washed most of the sand away and kind of made some guts through here. So you're going to find me going to be up and down. You can pay attention to my little bow. What's up? What's down? <laughs> so yeah, so right now, you know, I'm in almost knee deep water. You're just in waist deep water. So there's a bunch of holes. And what's the good part about it, a lot of fish like laying them holes, a little cooler in the bottom of them holes. So right, right. It's kind of an advantage to be having those around. But just this area right here, right where it's kind of thin on the beach, and it'll get a little better as we go further down. Crazy how these islands have eroded so much. Hooked up. There you go, Daddy O. Big one, the man's thing. <laughs> Keep your chin up. <laughs> Where you going? Why you going deeper? Stop going. <laughs> you gonna go. Boy, don't let it pull up, you boy. any further. Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't go forward. Back up. Back up. Jesus Christ. Come on, all right. <laughs> <My belt chicken>. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Him. You got him, though. All right, y'all, and he's off. So even even at chin deep, not not chin deep, but chin deep. Huh? All right, high five, man. Pow. How about that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, y'all hang tight right here in this fan cast. I, I missed two. They got some fish right here in front of us. Oh, yeah. All right, little boat throw out there, cuz. Right where your dad come from. There he is. There you go. like to see him hitting on top. Oh, I just missed one. You just missed one, buddy. Got some fish up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll keep. Whoa, look at that. All right, let's keep him. A little male, you hear him, Bo? Yeah. That noise he's making? We're having a great time out here with Tofield Bourgeois. This is awesome. It's a beautiful day. Enjoying what God gave us and uh, catching some nice speckled trout. So stay tuned for a commercial break. 
You know Grafton Dermatology as one of Louisiana's premier skin care and skin cancer treatment centers. Grafton Dermatology will bring your beautiful body to its healthy fullest. Grafton Dermatology provides advanced treatment for all skin conditions, repairing, healing, enhancing. Grafton Dermatology, defining healthier skin and beautiful bodies for over 15 years. In Louisiana, we have some of the best fishing in the world. And in Toledo Bend, we have the best fishing in Louisiana. This 185,000 acre lake was voted the number one bass lake in the nation for two years running. And with dozens of waterfront resorts and marinas, you can stretch out your stay as long as you like, or at least as long as your casting arm holds out. It's true, you can fish pretty much anywhere, but you'll catch fish in Louisiana. Plan your trip to Toledo Bend Lake Country today at louisianatravel.com. Back a trout, back a trout. Back a trout, back a trout on. There's one, there's more, little boat. Let's do it, boy. Right. Come on with it, cut. But don't get down. Spend it beat on top of the grass, man. So all you can do, break your little bait. So the chandelier chain, people always wonder about, you know, how do they form out here? As the Mississippi overflows the banks, all that sediment comes down from way up from Minnesota, and uh, that, that sediment hits the Gulf Stream, and when the Gulf Stream pushes that sediment back up, so where the current comes around from the, say, from the Florida Keys down to the mouth of the river, that's how the islands are formed, from the sediment from the Mississippi River, the water's pushed up, suspended, and that's how your sediment gets in, that's how these islands are created and keep rejuvenating. Hooked up, Bobo, hooked up. There you go, Get cut. Right, stop reeling, stop reeling, lift up. Just come up with your rod. Just come up and just lift up. Don't reel, just lift up. Oh, you got a good one, boy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just lift straight up, come up slow. Just right. keep on lifting. Whoa, whoa, watch him, boy. Come on, Bo, get him up. All right, partner. <laughs> Hold that, I'm gonna get him off Talk for you. you got it? Give me a little slack. All right, I'm gonna straighten that out for you. Good job, partner. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I think little Bo got bit by a jellyfish. A lot of times there'll be jellyfish out here, but the larva will get in your pants or your shorts or whatever. Kind of strains it out right there. Call it swimmer's itch or swimmer's eruption. There's not much you can do about it. If you get out and you spray it with uh, fresh water, all those little nematocysts or those little, oh, there he is. Oh, come on, bitch. Oh, oh yeah, right there. Oh. There you go. Ooh, that's a good one. You gonna net him for me, Bo? I got him, I got him, buddy. I'm good. All right. I'm, you want him? All right. There he is. There we go. Get him in there, little Bo. You got him, right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, cuz. Another little male. You hear that little boat? That, that grunting? Croak, croaking. Like a croaking. And the uh, speckled trout and redfish species, the, the males are the one that does all that grunt. Yeah, as you get past the, say, the, the early spring with the big females in here laying them eggs and stuff, and a lot of great top water action, a lot of them big females will move out and be left over with a lot of males. So right now, probably 85% of the fish we catch in a grunt. And when they grunting, if you don't know, uh, speckled trout and redfish are the males or the communicators, so it kind of gives them away. So right now, a lot of the bull reds we're catching are actually you know, big males, long and skinny, and these trout, are, all of them are talking. So you don't catch a whole bunch of three, four pound males. I have caught some already occasionally. No telling how old they are. But these fish here, the biologists tell me that you can have a, a little male, 11 inches long, three to four years old. So I mean, just, uh, we're happy to see them. We got, got one following me now. So just, uh, you know, Mother Nature's giving you. There we go. Oh, oh come on back. Oh, missed it. But yeah, Mother Nature's giving us, you know, fish. We're going to take it. As long as it's legal side, we're going to take it. So we're coming in with him. Let's see if this guy's going to grunt. Make me a liar. Ah. You hear him? <laughs> That's a little male. And he's legal. He's 12 and a half. Put him right here, right by my mic. What's that you say? There's 24 more. Any right over here? 
Thank you. Give you a little rub for that. I'm not gonna let you go though. Thanks for the info. <laughs> but we use this little suspended bait, man, a little bomber, but don't don't SS SS stands for slow sinking. And uh, these little guys love it. So this little legal fish, man, right there. You know, probably 12 and 3 eighths. Hooked up, Bosa. Oh, what you got, boy? You got big boo. That's something big, boy. The 80 fish. Get him, bud, get him. Good fight, Bo. You don't care, ladyfish, manfish, he catch them. <laughs> <laughs> you got him hooked up. Where like, you going to, boy? Supposed to bring the fish to you, not go to the fish, <laughs> bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Got this dude in the middle of his back. <clears throat> big old ladyfish. That big old cat, huh? That's a good fight, huh, Bo? No doubt. All right, so the deal is, you know, you're out here walking, there's a whole bunch of different species. They got Spanish mackerel, there's stingrays all over the ground, there's sharks, there's redfish, there's trout. Ladyfish right now are really thick. During the summer months, you'll get schools of thousands of ladyfish. So we're just now catching a lot of nice trout. Ladyfish move in. Best thing to do, do you stay there and lose tackle, or do you walk? We gonna walk. So ladyfish are fun to catch, but they will wear you out. And $8 a piece on the tackle, we want to move on, man. So we're walking out. All right, folks, the ladyfish moved in. We got some nice specks here, but uh, we're going to move on the front of the island, see if we can maybe catch a couple of bull reds, give a little break back here. But stay tuned. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. In fact, more skin cancers are diagnosed each year than all other cancers combined. Most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to the sun. The good news is that you can do a lot to protect yourself. Catch skin cancer early so that it can be treated effectively. Finding it early is the best way to make sure it can be treated with success. Call Grafton Dermatology for a consultation. La Tour Golf Club, the region's leading residential golfing community, is nestled amid beautiful landscaped greens and peaceful lakes. The 18-hole, 72-par course was designed by PGA Tour champion David Toms. Golfers can enjoy the fully stocked golf pro shop, driving range, and putting greens. The family can also enjoy La Tour Bar and Grill, which offers delicious cuisine. The Bayou region's premier golfing community. Live the life with La Tour. We're back in the kitchen to keep on casting, and today we've got grouper bombs. You want to tell them how we made these, Becky? Yes, very simple. We take the Allegro marinade, uh, let the, this is what we use, we let the grouper marinate in that for about 20 minutes, wrap it in bacon, secure it with a toothpick, a little Cajun seasoning on top. It's beautiful, ready for the grill. Quick and easy, kids love it. Everything's good with bacon. <laughs> so we've got the grouper ready to go. It's been marinating about 20 minutes. You do want to use some Pam on your grill when you cook this, because you don't want that fish to stick. It can get kind of fragile and it'll break up. So I spray it down real good. It's on about 350. We'll put them on the grill, let them cook. Already looks good. And I can't, I think there was a captain of a boat out of Destin. We were snapper fishing out of Destin. Uh, we got bored at the beach. Me and some little, little boys went, had a good time. But I think he told us about these and he called them grouper bombs. So we got that ready to go. Let that cook. Doesn't take too long. Probably five minutes on one side, flip it over, five or 10 minutes on the other side, just till that bacon gets really crisp. All right, so that's about probably eight or nine minutes on one side. Gonna flip them, try and keep them together. Roll them over real slow. Like I said, this, this fish can get, get a little fragile, so you gotta be careful with it, that it don't break up. But these things are really good. See that bacon's getting done on that bottom side, just like we want it. Just a little bit more, we'll take them out. So I just pulled these grouper bombs off the grill. 
nice chunks of grouper wrapped in bacon, soaked in Allegra sauce or marinated in Allegra sauce. And Becky's gonna be my taster. Yeah. Gonna remove my toothpick. Yeah, take the toothpick out. <laughs> done that before. Get a nice piece of bacon in there. Perfect. Good? So good. Okay, I'm gonna try Love some it. too. When Bo catches grouper on Saturday, this is what we eat on Sunday. It's really easy to fix. It's so good. The kids uh, like it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. The grouper bomb recipe can be found on keeponcastingtv.com. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. In fact, more skin cancers are diagnosed each year than all other cancers combined. Most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to the sun. The good news is that you can do a lot to protect yourself. Catch skin cancer early so that it can be treated effectively. Finding it early is the best way to make sure it can be treated with success. Call Grafton Dermatology for a consultation. In Louisiana, we have some of the best fishing in the world. And in Toledo Bend, we have the best fishing in Louisiana. This 185,000 acre lake was voted the number one bass lake in the nation for two years running. And with dozens of waterfront resorts and marinas, you can stretch out your stay as long as you like, or at least as long as your casting arm holds out. It's true, you can fish pretty much anywhere, but you will catch fish in Louisiana. Plan your trip to Toledo Bend Lake Country today at louisianatravel.com. Closed captioning provided by Humdinger Lures, the bass catchingest lures on the planet. So look out here, y'all. Y'all can see all these, we call these rain minnows. And it's not the way they're shaped or anything, but see how they're making those little rain-like pots on top, of the on top of the water. A lot of times you'll see a school of fish, they'll get these things all piled up offshore and they'll just keep going around them, round them and round them until they herd them all up into a little school. They'll even get up around the boat sometime and uh, they'll eat every one of them. Lots of wildlife out here, lots of fish, definitely lots of bait for the speckled trout. So we just gotta get on them. Get them, Tophill. Not a trout. Look at that, boy, two for one. Must have been following oh, his cousin in. There we got another one coming Hooked in. Up. All right. <laughs> he was following them Boudreaux. They both small. Might have to borrow one of your lines, Tophil. This one's freezing up. Freezing up. There he is. Oh yeah. That'll work. So Tofil, you look like a ninja turtle, dude. What's all that, uh, what you got going on there? I'm the El Chapo. <laughs> El Chapo with a speckle trout, boy. <laughs> I bought this cool little backpack at Target. They sell them right there in the main aisle, all the rod holders and stuff on <laughs> Not quite. This is an old school bag that I just converted and put some tire straps and put the, the rod holders on there. So I'm carrying about 18 pounds of gear. You know, so it makes it good. Got all my junk up here on my VHF radio. Got me some lip gloss for my lips. <laughs> got my little gadgets for cutting on my braid and stuff. <laughs> and you got carry extra rods, because some people like putting their rods in the water. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you know how that goes, bro. <laughs> there we go, back in business. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hang tight. This is, uh, it's a little trout, but it's gonna be a little sea dew trout, I believe. Little speckle. Show you Uncle Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so some of them not all pigs. Some of them are small. The key thing is when you get a little fish like this, you know he's close to being legal. I'm gonna take your time with him and don't tear him up. You got one little hook on the top right here. Take your time, let him out. I hear you, Daddy. -o. He's big enough? And release him. No, he's too small. Hooked up, hooked up, speckle trout. Come on, babe. 
Big, big Come one. get right, right between me and your dad there, little boy. Oh, yeah. All right. That'll work. <laughs> oh, you yeah. You hear him grunting, boy. You hear him grunting. Nice little speckled trout. He'll make it. He'll make the cut. Oh, yeah. God, we got a school of catfish in front of us. <laughs> I mean, a big school of catfish. So we caught some nice specks earlier. But things kind of slowed down around midday. It's almost slack tide, so we're going to wait. The tide's going to start pulling out, and uh, hopefully it'll turn on really good. We're catching a few specks in the shallows right now. Waiting on a little boat to catch one. Yeah. Oh, boy, there you go, hooked boy. up. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. <laughs> Get him little boy. Go, boy. Turn on your mugs. <laughs> you got some crazy glue in your lips. Hooked up, Come buddy. On, bro, what you got? What you going to do, bro? Come on. You going to bring that fish in or what? Come on, bro. Swing him to the right. Come to the right. Turn to the right. Swing to the right. Oh, that's Keep a coming. good one, dude. That's a good one. Keep coming. All right. Sweet. There you go, cut. Nice trout. So the nine talker over here is little Bo. <laughs> He's just serious on catching fish, y'all. We're sorry. The man don't say nothing. He starts grunting and gets him a fish on. How you feeling when you're catching this fish, bro? You mad at him? No? You like it? You happy? You having fun? All right, we're not sure. We got to act it. Make sure you're having fun with this stuff, bro. All right, man, you keep catching them. I'll keep putting them on the string. Hooked up, toe feel. Coming on, buddy. Coming on with it. You had one, buddy? All right. It looks like the same one, but it's not, I promise. A little mouth full of hooks there, man. Be careful. Hooks are not your friend. Well, folks, we had a great time out here today fishing the Chandelier Islands with Tofield Bourgeois. As always, we want to thank our troops. And until next time, keep on cast. So Boudreau, he had a couple beers one Saturday afternoon. Stumbles into church, straight into the confessional. While the priest is sitting there, and he doesn't hear anything. So he makes a little cough, <sighs> nothing. Bumps the wall, all of a sudden Boudreaux, he said, "May partner, there ain't no paper in this one either. Don't be